Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul from the flea market. This is my first haul of 2018. It seemed like it had been forever since I'd been shopping and I was so excited and I had all this money in my pocket. And then it seemed like I spent it. It was just all gone so fast. So, well, I guess I better go home. I'm out of money. And I go home and I found like another 120 and I put it in the wrong pocket. Like, oh, no wonder it seemed like I spent it fast. So maybe not the biggest haul I've ever done. But anyway, um, I will show you what I got. Um, I'm going to show you the jewelry first, as I normally do. I did not get much jewelry. It was really slim pickings. I don't know why. But I did get three turquoise rings. And that, I think, is my favorite. It's such a pretty color of blue. A nice big one. And that was 15 And... This one has an unusual color also. And it looks like a pretty old one. And that one was 15. And then this one has a really unusual sweet design. And this one was 10. None of them are marked, but I'm sure they're all sterling silver. I know who I bought them from. Well, I got them from three different dealers, but I know who I got them from if they're not. But they are. Uh, okay, I got this. I don't know if you count this as jewelry or not. It's more of an accessory. But, come on. It's this pearl collar, or I guess you can wear it like this also. I have bought and sold many, many, many of these. Um, this one is made in Japan, as most of them are. It's made with glass pearls. They're all in really good shape. They're not losing their paint like these often are. So um, I did pay, no, I paid a dollar for this. So that was a bargain. And uh, probably can sell it for around, um, I'd say between 20 and 25, just because the condition is so nice and it's just a nice one. Bought another one of these big cuff bracelets. I paid five for that. Probably going to ask about uh, 20. It's, uh, Oh, it came from the world market, so it's probably not that old. It's got a EPC code in it. But anyway, I thought that was cute. And then this, I kind of had buyer's remorse. I bought a bunch of these little necklaces. They were two for five dollars. And this is the best of the lot. It's, it's a real opal and a real ruby. The metal is not gold filled or anything. It's just gold tone metal. But it, it is in the original box. And it's um, Van Duran or something like that. Um, these sell for about maybe 15 at the most. And they're kind of all over the place. So, And then I got five of this same necklace. And it's, you know, it's really pretty. And it's sweet. And it's all fake. Fake gold, fake pearl. But it is, you know, new old stock, original box. Uh, some of the boxes have this gold thing that tells what it is. It's uh, Ronte of Beverly Hills, something like that. Anyway, but I thought they were awfully pretty. And for two for $5, I'll probably try to sell them for about 10 or 12 a piece. I normally don't like to list things for that low, but if you can just keep relisting, you know, without any work, then it's worth it to do it. So, um, what was it, 15 for all those necklaces. And I'm afraid that's it for the jewelry. I know, I'm so sorry. I wish I had more. I really need jewelry. Um, but I got some other fun stuff. I got this basket. Um, I need to do some research on what kind of basket exactly it is. Um, I think it's possible that it's Native American. I'm not really sure, though. But it does look old, and it's in very good condition. And I paid five for that. This is probably, the, it's definitely the biggest purchase I made of the day and probably the coolest. This, uh, she's, she's spelter. She's not bronze. But uh, I just thought she was very charming. Um, say probably from the 1920s, judging from her hairstyle, maybe the 1930s. Uh, it's got some very old felt on the bottom. It has a marble base. It's very heavy and I just thought she was really cute. <laughs> I paid $50 for her. 
<clears throat> yeah. I'm reasonably sure I can get my money back. I'm reasonably sure I can make some kind of profit on that, but it's not going to be huge. But I just loved her. Uh, and then I got this mirror. Got this for $8. It's, um, I think it's pretty old because it's got the flat head screws on it. It's in really nice condition. Very Hollywood Regency. Uh, I got this beer stein. I think that the lid is pewter. I think. And I, it has a mark on the bottom that's this crown with an S and a D. I think you have to read it from the other side. Yeah, SD. Um, I did find out the maker on that, and now I'm forgetting what it is. But it's a very uh, a maker that started in the early 1800s, and this could be quite old. And it's kind of weird because it's got some engraving here, and then it's like crossed out, and it's got some other engraving over here, and I can't really make heads or tails of it. This says 520th D or L or something. I don't know. And then on the top, it says R. Stump. And what I believe this is, is somebody's personal beer mug that uh, back in the day, you would buy a nice stein or someone would give one to you and then you'd keep it at the pub and it would have your name on it so you could always get it when you went to the pub to visit. So anyway, I did pay $5 for that and um, it's in really good condition. I don't see any chips or anything. I'm going to try and shine up the pewter just a little bit because I think it's just dirty more than anything. And uh, see if I can do more research. I, don't, I, I saw some of this brand of Stein selling for like over $100, but they weren't, they were much fancier than mine is, so I don't know. <sighs> Got this little carved wooden cat. He's designed to sit on a shelf like that. And um, he's from Mexico and he's very worn. <laughs> I paid, I paid $4 for him. <laughs> I know, I know, but he's so cute. Look at his little face. <laughs> I don't know what I can sell that for. Maybe I'll just keep him. He's so cute. Uh, I got one of these scribes. There's the measuring on that side. This is used, it's got a little sharp, where is it? A little sharp, um, well, where is it? Somewhere it's got a little sharp barb on it and you use it to scribe wood with. It's a woodworking tool. And I have bought and sold these before. Uh, normally they have a maker name on them. This one I don't think does. Or it's worn off. But anyway, I paid five dollars for that. Um, <laughs> I got this. I'm assuming this is an Indian pot. It looks old. It's got a, uh, a mark on the bottom. I think it says MR. It does have a chip. I paid $5 for that. It's probably not worth anything. I got this salt glazed salt crock that you would hang on the wall. I'm thinking it's pretty old. Look at the bottom of it. I'm thinking, um, well, the guy who sold it to me said 1930s or earlier. And that's probably true. Um, but I love just the stencil cobalt letters and the little decorative around here. And I paid $20 for that. I don't know if it's worth that or not. I just, I just felt the need to um, try some new things and just see what happens. So I may be making terrible mistakes. But if you don't try new things, you never know. Uh, I got this knife. There's the knife. And I've done a little research on it. This is what really sold me on it. Look at the carving. Uh, hopefully this is focusing for you, but it's just got really beautiful carving on the sheath. And I believe this is from Vietnam, and I think it's pretty old. And I paid $5 for that. 
don't know. Now here, talk about getting out of your comfort zone. I got these old veterinary syringes. I got those two. And I got those two. And I paid $25 for the lot. So uh, I think looks like maybe I can get about somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 a piece for them. So not too bad. Um, got a whole handful of skeleton keys. So like so. How can I show these to you? There's a whole big variety. These are, you know, genuine old keys. They're not reproductions. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it looks like I got 12 of them for $2, which is a really good price. Whenever I see these keys at the flea market, they're always a minimum of $2 a piece. Um, and they sell online for about between three and six. So I'll probably sell them as a lot. Uh, poison A has a dragon on it. Uh, I don't think this is super old or anything. Um, it's probably mid-century. It doesn't have any marks on it at all. But the, uh, the Cloison A itself looks a little bit on the mass-produced side. It does have a couple little chips, but nothing bad. I pay $5 for that, and I'm thinking I'll ask about $20 for it. And I got this Victorian cup slash vase transferware. Um, this is, uh, well, there's the mark on the bottom. And this is pre-1993 because it doesn't say England on it. And it's got such a wonderful clear back stamp, but I haven't been able to identify it yet. So um, the only thing I know is they call this the arts and crafts style. Just arts and crafts is kind of uh, something that went side by side with Art Nouveau. Um, but it's more of an English term, I guess. Uh, let's see, I got a bag of broken stuff because well, I saw some broken tiles on the ground and I just started picking them up and I asked the guy, I said, do you want these? And he said, no, you can have them. And I said, okay. And then he said, you like broken stuff? And I said, yeah, you know, I, I mosaic with it. And he said, oh, here, I got some stuff for you. <laughs> so this is what I picked up off the ground. Oh, it's, it at one time was an absolutely gorgeous Delft polychrome tile. There's the mark on the back. But it's all broken, but it'll be nice for mosaicing. And then he gave me this. This is a Wade chipmunk with a broken ear. And there is a poodle with a broken leg. <laughs> and I've been collecting. I have this whole collection of little broken animals. Either I bought them at the flea market and um, and they didn't survive the trip home, or I didn't notice they were broken, or got them some other way like this. So I have like a bunch, and I'm going to do some kind of art project with the little broken animals. I don't know what yet. Um, okay, I got some stuff back here. I got this silk hanky holder. Hankies up like that. The only problem is it's missing. It used to have the other half. Of, see the ribbon down here? You would fold your hankies inside and tie it, so the second half of the ribbon is missing. But it's otherwise in very nice condition. And I don't know what this is called when it's kind of like they put down an adhesive, like a fabric glue, and then sprinkle this stuff on it that's like, kind of like glitter, but it's these tiny, tiny little spheres of color. Uh, I have no idea. I'm sure it's called something and it's so tiny I don't think you'll be able to see it. But 
Anyway, that I paid, oh gosh, now I've forgotten. I can't remember. I may have paid $5, I may have paid $2, I can't remember. Uh, and I bought some stockings, some hands. They are unused, but they're kind of rumpled. Oh my god, don't tell me this is only one stocking. Oh my god, it is. Holy crap. Well, I really messed that up, didn't I? I bought one stocking. That's useless. Okay. Hoping this is actually a pair. Looks like I do have a pair here. These are Christian Dior. Christian Dior Ultrason, 100% nylon. Okay. Well, anyway. Wow, they have big feet. Um, I'll have to kind of rehabilitate this packaging a little bit and make it look a little nicer. But the last time I had vintage stockings, they sold really well. So there's the Christian Dior box. I'm not sure if these are genuinely like 1950s, 1960s, or if they're more of a 1980s, you know, when there was kind of a resurgence of people wearing garter belts. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I got this carved bookshelf. Book, book, what do you call these things? book rack, I guess, that's adjustable, and you can see it's got really beautiful carving. It's made in India, but it's older, and um, there's the tag on the back, and I paid $10 for this, and it looks like these are going for around 30 on eBay. Got this beaded purse. That's uh, made in Japan. Pretty clean on the inside. It has a little, tiny bit of staining. It does have its little mirror. <laughs> I like it when they have the mirror still. Um, but it's in real good condition on the outside. And um, I paid $5 for that. And then I got this plate. This is a... Uh, copper luster on the outside here and on the back it just says made in England so I don't know anything about the age or the pattern or what but I just thought it was pretty and I paid two dollars for it so I don't know okay so um, then I have a couple other things that I need to get up to show you. Oh wait, let me show you this first. <laughs> this is my latest art project. I've given up on the rugs. Um, they just take too long to make. Uh, and this is um, something I've been wanting to do. I may have shown you this ukulele on another haul video recently. It came from the flea market. I paid three dollars for it. And finally, I have something to do with all my junk jewelry. I have buckets of the stuff. And this is not quite done yet because I want to do, I want to do the sides, probably, probably down to about there. And, um, yeah, I might do a little bit on the sides of the neck, too. And then uh, I'm probably going to add just some rhinestones to fill in, flat back rhinestones. So that is how I keep myself busy. And then let me show you these two other things. These are, um, a friend gave them to me and said, here, if you can sell these, you have my blessings. But they're really big. So let me show you. This is the first one. 
this, I know there's not a very good background, so it's going to be hard for you to see it, but this is a hookah. And it's from India. And it's brass. I think it, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not from India. It is from, oh my god, I've forgotten already. Where is this from? got these little danglies on it. It does have a, one of the candle holders is bent, but otherwise it's in good condition. You're probably wondering how I would pack and mail something like this. Well, it comes apart and it all fits in this box right here. So, not impossible to mail. And then this is the second one. Let's see. Here's the bottom of it. This one's not quite so big. And it's made of glass and chrome and ceramic. And it comes with these little things you have to, you have to use like these hot coals that I forget. I don't know really. I've never used a hookah, but anyway. Um, I found a big one like this. It's five feet tall. I found it on eBay, sold for $800. Um, very similar to this. I think probably a little better condition, but not much. And um, these, I think, sell for over 100 But i got to clean them up and get them photographed and all that. And haven't done it yet. Okay. Anyway, so... That's it. That is my haul. Thanks for sticking with me. These things are, or soon will be, for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com, and the link is below in the description. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I love to get comments, and I try to reply or at least acknowledge all comments. And um, that's it. I'll see you again soon. Bye.